That guy didn't even... No, he did get a lighted on fire. Oh, God. Here comes the... He's wrecking... Look at this. He's creating a path through the trees. He's such a beast. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. So, let's just load our previous save and hope it doesn't... Yes, it did mess up. Okay, perfect. So... In the last episode, you can see that our towers are pretty strong. We currently have eight towers. And then we're going to work on the surrounding wall. Now, Luke Toll said, when it rains, some non-fertile lands get fertile. Have, have you guys noticed that? If you have, pointed out in the comments like, oh, at this minute and this second, I noticed, um, you know, when it was raining it did that but you can see a lot of very fertile farmlands so i'm thinking we might just make our farmlands along the coast right which is funny are we are we in freshwater look at how fertile that is we also had a suggestion to turn this into a fortress area in the future since we've got this nice ring of natural rocks um a lot of you have asked if if you can well we don't have the gold for it right now so let's see how is happiness oh yeah Replacing hovels with cottages boosts happiness. So that was another suggestion as well. Let's see. Food's doing pretty good. Three orchards. Plenty of farms. All right, good. Yeah, I wanted to get those circles out of there. It is winter. We're not sure what day it is. We've got four idle people. Um, another thing I realized is people don't like to be living next to, you know, the uh, charcoal burners. Obviously, it would produce a lot of smoke, right? So let's see. Happiness. Road access plus eight. Charcoal heating and cooking of zero. Oh, we got a Viking landing. Hold on. Oh, okay. They're actually going to land really close. And we we should have four anywhere between three to six towers that should be able to attack them. However, it looks like they're going right near the farmlands, which is a very, very, uh, let's say, delicate place. Because we do not want them. It is year 40. Come on, guys. The archers are hitting these guys. Now, are they gonna burn? Or are they gonna steal peasants? No, they just kinda were like, oh god. Don't go, don't cut this way. Yeah, go around, go around. We're already cutting them down with arrows, guys. Look at this. The Viking invasion versus our towers. A bunch of them have made it into the farming areas. I'm, I'm, I do not want any fires. I think this orchard might get lit up. Yeah, this guy right here. They're burning our shit! But we have a well right here. Plus there's the water, so hopefully... We're gonna need like a coastal defense tower or something. Cause this protects the interior, but there's still a lot of vulnerable areas, right? Okay, we actually kept them from burning anything. But let's see. Looks like that has two people on it. Where'd the other ship go? I guess it disappeared already. Huh. Yeah, so we lost a few peasants, right? Yeah, we had 60. So we must have lost three peasants. Okay, happiness is at 70, though. Um, stone production's doing well. I think we're going to need another house. What I want to try to do is if I de just demolish this. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But I, I you know what, we're going to do it. Screw it. All right, and then we're going to get to a cottage. Let's see how that goes. We have got 57 people, but beds of 52. Maybe that affects their happiness. I'm not entirely sure how that works. My lord, people visit our kingdom, but none saw it fit to stay. Maybe you need more houses. But we're, we're, we're learning. Is our children learning? And this is where this road will go on the outside. We're going to have walls here. I want to make these walls. I've decided to make them two walls high instead of three. And then outer walls will be kind of one tall. Because we're going to have so much. And we could always upgrade them in the future, right? When we have this abundance of resources. Is this being built? It is. The stockpile is right over here. So it seems like it should be relatively short. I don't... I'm not... I don't know if our road systems are all that great currently. And yeah, maybe I 
forget how much this might be three tall so if we make this two and we make the corners three we could add like ballistas there we are going to need ballistas because ogres will invade actually i think we might want to work on that a chamber of war unlocks the ballista i would like a chamber of war and i'm going to put it outside the wall over here Chamber of War. Yeah, that looks nice. And then we should start taxing our people. Once this house is done, we're gonna start taxing the people. And I think we should put another charcoal worker out here. So let's get some economy. We're gonna expand the road this way. And I wanna put a charcoal burner kind of far from these houses, because this is gonna be a little go like that? No, I guess he could go this way, right? So we're going to put him like right here. Charcoal burner. Yeah, we need we need more people. Okay, we need more builders. Then you know what we're going to do is we're going to do what we usually do and close one of the stone quarries to get the workers so things start getting built faster. I thank you guys for that suggestion. Because... That definitely has helped me a lot from having to demolish and rebuild, you know, by just noticing that. Like, see, here's the thing. When you YouTube, like, for real talk, you're not, you're playing a game and you have to, you're multitasking. You're working on commentating, interacting with your audience, you know, interacting with you guys, Baron's Brigade. Oh, man, look at that. Plus one shark. I should move these further away. I should move him over here at some point. Because I don't want, you know, because all the houses will be over here. Where are our builders? We still have 57 out of 52. I think this house, there we go. The house just got built and our beds went up to 64. So we went from what, 62 to 64, I think? Or was it 60? So these definitely are a lot more space efficient. Let's see how this is going. 71 stone. Um, we might as well close this one as well. Actually, we don't need this much wood, right? We, we've got 378 wood. I'm going to close one of these. Even though it, it's only one worker, it still counts. Oh, look at that. All the people are hanging out in the... Is that a rear door? Maybe we did it. Maybe we positioned it wrong. We could put a nice little path back here behind these houses. Because there will be a wall encircling that. Our eight towers of grand defense. Soon, we're going to have ballistas once this thing is done. What? We've got a red person. Andy Moore is a red man. What? Are we already getting hit by the plague? Is that the plague? Does the plague turn your people red? Because here, these guys are not red. They're carrying a bunch of apples. we got so much food. Ah, here we go. We finally have production moving over here. There we go. The charcoal burner is going to get built. 62 out of 64. Nine people visited, but only five decided they want to stay. That's fairly decent. We're at a happiness of 70, which I think is pretty good. Look at how many people man these towers. We have a lot of soldiers. A lot of military personnel going on around here. Man, we really need this because I would like ballistas by... You know, I'm going to put one... I don't know where to put one. Whoa! Our castle got upgraded. Did you see that? It's bigger now. Now, I'm not sure if that's like, like, depending on how much money we have or a happiness level or if we build the right structures. We did purchase a chamber of war. That could definitely have something to do with it. Ooh, this would be a nice area for a town square. Or right here. This is going to be walled off, right? Yeah. So we could put that. And I could wheel out. We couldn't, we're going to put the town square here. Right there. Too far from our roads? I don't believe you. Seven idle people? Well, let's get them back to work. Let's get the town square. Because this will help attract people to us.
I guess I could move this well over. I'm gonna demolish it. Move the well over to like here. I was like, why couldn't I put it there? Maybe it was because of the road. And we're gonna have walls. Castle. Let's see, we've got we've got no idle people because we're constructing a lot of things. Wait, how much is the ballista tower? 10 gold. We're gonna want some of those. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna need to tax our people at a rate of one. Now let's speed things up. So right here is gonna be the beginning of urban sprawl. This is gonna be the first suburb. Everything else is more or less centralized around the castle. We're gonna start expanding out into this realm here. Although I wish you could get rid of these rocks. But they're just stuck there. It's like mountains, I guess. How's happiness? Being taxed. Charcoal heating and cooking? But we have charcoal here. Is there just not enough charcoal for everybody? Let's see. Let's see if these houses here are getting charcoal. Wants access to road. Oh, God. I thought you had access to road. Charcoals. Yeah, some of the houses get charcoal, some just don't, I guess. Okay, we have the Chamber of War. It's year 44. Went for a quick little water break, so let's hop back into the kingdom. Now that their lord's thirst has been quenched. Now what's interesting is I'm pretty sure there's a piece up here. Which we could put that there and then we could build on it. So someone's actually going to be built over a, a little hot spring so their house we could put that under the manor maybe and we're gonna pretend that it's like a hot spring that actually be kind of cool if you did something like that developers and it uh increased happiness or you could build you know something like that so we're idle 69 people are idle let's get stone production back up and running we're gonna open that back up wood is at 407 i don't think we're gonna need much more than that yeah, this is gonna be the urban, the beginning of urban sprawl. Suburban sprawl, I guess. We're gonna have the road go this way. That looks pretty nice. Then we can start putting, look at all this farmland, guys. Oh yeah, maybe, how's food? 27, we're gonna want some more food. Let's build another cottage here. Town. A cottage. Where's the front door? Dude, this cottage is in prime position. And let's get... Now that that should be built first. Now let's check out the food situation. Can we put one here? We can't put one there just yet. Maybe another orchard. Wow, actually food's really good, but I would... I would feel safer. And more secure in our kingdom. Let's see, if I put I put a windmill there. Oh shit, we're getting... Okay, we've got two Viking ships again. They're attacking from the north. We've got two towers. Ah, uh, yeah. We've only got two towers facing that way. I do realize that this is the weaker spot. Here's the strongest spot, this corner. Alright, well, the Vikings are on their way. The Viking Invaders. Year 46, the Vikings attack the Kingdom of Toast once more. Let's see. But since our towers are taller, they have... They can start firing sooner, I think. We are probably going to lose some stuff. Hopefully they burn a building that's, like, not being used. I, I think we killed... Oh. They lit, they lit both of these on fire. But everybody died. The Viking ships leave. What? Two, they left without some of the Vikings. <laughs> they just ran into the ocean. And we put out the fires. Guys, we are prepared. Uh, people are talking about toast. Maybe they're like, we toast the kingdom of toast. We defeat Vikings like no other. So is everything being constructed? This is built. Is this not finished yet? Has Andy Moore has bad teeth. Oh, we're waiting on two logs. That's why I was like, the beds don't fit. If the glove does not fit, 
You must have quit. Uh, maybe some more charcoal burners, too. But I, I need this to be done very soon. We've got four idle people. There we go. Now we've got beds of 76. Alright, so I think... Let's see. Stone, stone production's going very well. I need more people to come here. So let's... Let's host a festival for 25 gold. Happiness of 78 and we're taxing people. That's awesome. Happiness 74. Look at that. We're getting the people. All right, now I think I want to put some farms over here. I do like the look of farms, and they are pretty efficient, right? Because I could put a windmill right here if I wanted to. Should we put a windmill? We're going to do it, because it'll look cool. And it's going to be facing... Which way is... Let's check this. Okay, so the side that the door is on is where the windmill goes. Let's see, does he... Yeah, he doesn't need access to a road or anything silly like that. He's gonna have this beautiful waterfront view. What? Is it another red man? Andy Moore is just all over the place. Now Andy Moore is working the fields. So we've got six idle people, so we can start... Uh, wall... Actually, you know what? I would feel very, very good. Let's get... One, two, three. Which I believe is as tall as this. And uh, let's go ahead and fill in this. One, two. One, two. And you know what? I'm gonna. Should I put. I'm gonna put a little path here. No? You can't put a road too far from your roads. Isn't that weird? Wonders if ghosts are real. What was that? I thought I heard something explode. I don't know what that was about. So we've got 76 people. Happiness is dropping. This just, this costs gold. But that's kind of nice though. That's how we get peasants when we need them. The kingdom of toast. Yes, finish this. Finish this beautiful windmill. Where are the planks? Here are the men with the planks. We've got two on shirts. Oh, and we need what? Tired of catching the plague? We have the plague? I saw a fairy once, my lord, I promise. I see, interestingly enough, it looks like, yeah, there it is. The windmill is done. Okay, so how many idle people do we have after 76? Because we built quite a few buildings. I guess these guys are still constructing these walls, right? Constructing siege equipment. Ooh, those walls look nice when they're too tall. Two levels tall. Not when they're physically too tall. So we're going to put a ballista here and a ballista here. Let's see how much those cost. I believe it was 10 gold. We have enough for multiple, so let's... Whoop. And then once this is done, we'll put it there. Then we'll connect this with some walls. We could always put another house there if need be. Hmm. Put one hobble. We could put a pathway there. We just, we definitely need more defenses. Alright, I think that, that area is looking stronger now. Where, should, where else should we put a tower that does ballista work? Got two ballistas there. We're going to need one on this side, so let's go with... One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's quite a bit of our stone. We're, we're working on this. Now, gates are incredibly expensive. Check this out. Gates are 40 stone. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of stone. Now, we could open up another quarry. But to do that, we'll need houses and unfortunately, I just sent everybody basically... Yeah, we're gonna need another house soon. Food, I think, is adequate to cover this kingdom. Look at this windmill. This is the kingdom of toast, guys. It is glorious. Oh my god, look at all this food coming in. It must be just about time for winter. Whoa! <laughs> Perfect timing. All right, we're, we're starting to get a better feel. And here, this is going up. 
Happiness is at 77. <gasps> what was that? Throne room rubble? Do you think that they were so sick of being taxed that they destroyed it? What? I think that may have just happened. That I... Are they rebelling against me? Guys. I think we have a rebellion on our hands. I really think that they did that. Because the happiness was too high, and I was like, what's going on? Like, I'm taxing these people. And they're like, no, you're not, my lord. We destroyed your throne room. <laughs> I have you know you will be kicked out of the kingdom of Toast if you rebel my against my reign. So, we're going to need more people. We're gonna, should we build our first manor? Probably soon. I want to put a house... Yeah, like right here. Around... We're, we're, we're creating suburbia here. Food's definitely good. I love it, because it's all centralized right here. The agricultural district of Toast is renowned for being one of the most efficient in all of the medieval kingdoms of the archipelago. Where other kingdoms are, you know? Because, uh... Oh god. Where? Oh shit! We've got our first ogre! We've got our first ogre attack! However... Okay, do, do I want them doing that? Oh god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous! We do have two ballistas on this side, so of all the sides they could have gone for... Man, because right now it's like I wish I had a wall here. Like, if I could block that off, would they have to destroy it? I don't know. It would be really convenient to have walls here. I don't know. But we've got the ballistas. We've got two archer towers. Two sort of in range. I'm really... Oh, luckily... The ballistas should be... Are the ballistas attacking the Vikings? Okay. Oh, and there's like a one-hit kill. Look, this guy's got a peasant. Oh! That guy didn't even... No, he did get a lighted on fire. Oh, God. Here comes the... O He's wrecking... Look at this! He's creating a path through the trees! He's such a beast! Oh, we hit him with a ballista. He's not dead. He's destroying my wood. <gasps> it's a one-hit kill! He's destroying the roads! Don't, don't attack this tower. We killed him! We killed the troll! Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lot to rebuild. I hope you'll join me in the next episode where we further work on defending our kingdom and increasing how awesome we are in the kingdom of toast. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video.